Anita Ekberg, the radiant Swedish diva who shone in the golden era of cinema, remains immortalized for her incredible fusion of aesthetics, talent, and charisma. Hailing from Malmo, Sweden, where she was born on September 29, 1931, Ekberg captivated the film industry with her distinctive blend of elegance, artistic prowess, and an air of mystery. In her early years, Anita flirted with the world of fashion. Under the guidance of her mother, she participated in the Miss Malmo competition in 1950, where she not only stood out, but also secured the coveted title of Miss Sweden. Even facing language barriers, Anita headed to the United States to compete in the 1951 Miss Universe pageant. While not capturing the main title, her notable placement among the top six finalists earned her a contract with the renowned Universal Studios. Eckberg's iconic appearance, coupled with her captivating personal journey, filled with connections to Hollywood giants like Frank Sinatra and Tyrone Power, made her a recurring figure in tabloids, gaining prominence in magazines like Confidential. In a short span of time, she solidified herself as one of the most desired muses of the 1950s, gracing prestigious publications, including Playboy. Furthermore, Anita was known for her clever marketing moves. On one occasion, she even admitted that a scene in which her dress came undone in the lobby of the Berkeley Hotel in London was a staged affair orchestrated with a photographer. Ekberg's journey to the pinnacle was marked by her unmistakable charm and an extraordinary passion for acting that set her apart. Her most prominent moment came with Federico Fellini's acclaimed La Dolce Vita in 1960. In the role of Silvia, the enchanting and dreamy figure who bathes in the legendary Trevi Fountain, Anita solidified her status as an icon of sophistication and joie de vivre. Her contribution to cinema extended beyond that iconic scene. The breadth of her career encompassed a range of styles, attesting to her adaptability and richness as an artist. Her roles in productions like War and Peace, 1956, and Hollywood or Bust, 1956, showcased her ability to seamlessly switch between drama and humor. Each performance highlighted her extensive array of skills, earning praise from both audiences and experts. In later reflections, she noted that, after La Dolce Vita, things got a bit repetitive for me. It seemed like all directors and producers, whether in Italy, England, or America, wanted to see me reprising the same persona, the American movie star visiting Italy. Anita Ekberg's magnitude on screen captivated hearts and solidified her name as a cinematic diva. Concurrently, her personal journey was equally captivating, marked by loves, victories, and the legacy of a seventh art icon. In 1956, she entered into marital commitment with the renowned British actor Anthony Steele. This couple, radiating sophistication, became a living reflection of Hollywood love stories. However, this relationship waned, culminating in a divorce in 1959. Later, in 1963, she joined forces with actor Rick Van Nutter, a relationship that endured until 1975. In a 2006 account, Ekberg expressed her desire to become a mother, but intriguingly contradicted herself a few months later. The prominent figure of Gianni Agnelli, Italian magnate and fiat helmsman, stood out as one of the great romances of Ekberg's life. Though he was committed elsewhere, the couple sustained a lasting passion. Known for her candor, Ekberg never hesitated to share her opinions, at times mentioning famous names she didn't resonate with. She often emphasized the idea that the credit for her success belonged to her, and not solely to Federico Fellini. They persist in saying that Fellini was the architect of my fame, that he was the one who revealed me to the world, she pointed out in a conversation with the New York Times in 1999. On January 11, 2015, at the age of 83, the world bid farewell to Ekberg. She left us at the San Rafaele Clinic in Rocca di Papa, a picturesque region in the Castelli Romani, after facing complications from illnesses that had accompanied her for years. Anita spent part of her final years confined to a wheelchair after an accident caused by her faithful companion, a Great Dane, which resulted in a hip fracture. Reflecting on her life, Anita Ekberg embodies the vigor and determination of a woman who cemented herself as an indelible icon. Her cinematic legacy, the passion with which she embraced her profession, and the magnetism she still exudes are testaments to her immortality in the history of the seventh art. As we revisit the life and work of Anita Ekberg, we are transported to a period brimming with glamour and art that influences countless generations. Her unmistakable essence and authenticity resonate, proving the everlasting impact of cinema. If you've been captivated by this narrative and wish to delve into more enriching stories from the artistic and cultural realm, 
subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button and enable notifications to stay updated on our new releases. Thank you for joining us and see you soon.